Hi, if you saw a blue or black screen of death while installing Windows 10 or 11 or resetting it to factory settings, this video will help to solve this problem. We will look at the reasons why that screen of death appears in this process, solutions and you will also receive a decoding of various error codes. This is PC No Problems channel, subscribe and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to comment and share it at social media. There is also a link in description to our website, where you can make a donation and find text versions of videos. A blue or black screen of death is a screen that appears in a Windows computer when a critical system error occurs. It contains information about the cause of the error and its code, which can be used to determine the cause and find a solution. BSOD is a mechanism to protect the operating system and computer from possible damage that could occur if you continue to work with an error. If we are talking about installing Windows, for example, from a flash drive, then most likely the screen of death appears due to problems with hardware, computer components. After all, during the installation of Windows, essentially all that happens is copying files from the flash drive to the hard drive, while RAM operating memory is used. So, if there are problems with the hard drive or RAM, it is impossible to write information to them. The installation program will stop the process and give an error. The Windows installer also analyzes the hardware and prepares the appropriate drivers. If it fails to read information about one of the main devices, for example about processor or video card, this is again an error. Hence the first conclusion, solving the problem with the screen of death during the installation of Windows comes down to diagnosing a problem with the hardware. Let's look at the main reasons why the screen of death appears and what we can do. And the first one, problems with hardware. The cause of the problem must be determined. If you see a machine check exception error, the problem could be in any component of your computer. Here are some more errors that are related. I won't comment on everything, you can just compare it with your error and decipher it. Another way to find the cause by filtering out the options. To determine if the hard drive is the problem, disconnect unneeded hard drives. If you have just one disk, you can check it using special programs booted from a flash drive, like this. And if this is too difficult, connect the disk to a working computer and through this computer go to the disk properties and find the error checking button. If everything is in order, look for other problem. To determine if your RAM is the problem, try the following. If you have two RAM modules, try installing the system with only one. If the error occurs again, insert another module. Another option is to ask a friend for a stick of RAM for testing. If the installation is successful, then the RAM needs to be replaced. Another possibility is to diagnose the RAM with a special Windows program. Press WinR and enter the command MDSHED. Run diagnostics. Just like checking a hard drive, check the installation flash drive for errors. Also try changing the version of the USB you are connecting to. If you used USB 3.0, try inserting it into USB 2.0 or vice versa. If you have a discrete or external video card, try disabling it and starting from the integrated video card in your processor. This way you will eliminate another cause of the problem. Check also the power supply. Is there enough power for all components of the system unit? If all of the above do not help, all that remains is the processor and motherboard. The second one may fail more often, and here it will be difficult to diagnose. But if all other components are working, most likely the problem is with it. Reason 2. Faulty or outdated drivers. These errors occur rarely, but do occur. Try updating your motherboard BIOS. This can often be done by downloading the manufacturer's official drivers, onto a USB flash drive and running the update through the UEFI menu. If the Windows system doesn't have drivers for some devices on your PC, the installer will most likely give you a message rather than BSOD. The third – incorrect BIOS UEFI settings. The installer may show BSOD due to non-standard BIOS settings. 
For example, if you increase the processor frequency, change the XMP profiles of the RAM. To avoid this, go to EFI and reset the settings to default. One more reason – overheating of components. This can also lead to a blue screen. Make sure the cooling is working properly and there is no overheating. And the fifth – operating system. If you are using some custom unofficial build, it may have bugs or be incompatible with your hardware. Use official licensed Windows. Ok, we have listed the main reasons why the screen of this appears during Windows installation or reset. And as you can see, the decision to reinstall Windows or reset it is not always a good idea. First, you need to make sure that the computer is slowing down or glitching really because of software problems and not because of hardware problems, because in this case the reinstallation will not succeed. Therefore, do not forget to diagnose your PC, maintain it, update Windows and drivers. Another good option to avoid problems is to back up the system and files. You will need more space or even an additional disk, but this can save you from data loss or speed up the system recovery process. I hope this video helped you. Write in the comments about your experience with BSOD and how you solve this problem. And also watch other videos on the PC&P channel.